This episode is sponsored by ClickUp. Today on All Me Artists, we're going to be remaking something for Man at Arms. Pyramid Head's great knife, which was this huge sword sized knife that we made, we're going to be making in a smaller Bowie knife. Of course, it's going to be a really big Bowie knife, but it's still only going to be something that we can manage, that we can handle. This was originally commissioned by Benjamin Sager quite a while ago, so you'll see in this footage that it's actually before the renovations in the shop. Uh, but finally, we're reaching the point where we can get this finished for him. But one of the things about it, because it was heat treated and the original finishes were put on it a very long time ago at this point, over a year ago, uh, it was also blackened and allowed to sit in the shop. So it has this really great patina and crusty surface that you, you really just can't uh, create those kind of surfaces. It'll be great to get this piece finished, and I think it's very cool when you compare it with the original sword, which of course we still have. And you'll see it all here on All Me Artists. Often on Man at Arms, we're fully forging this piece. But for this Bowie knife, we knew the material we had was perfect. It's been sitting outside, so it's got a great kind of crunchy surface. So we'll use the hand plasma torch and rough this out and then get to finishing. Tanner now takes this rough cutout to the grinding wheel. He's starting with a 50 grit and just taking off that kind of quick plasma cut that I did. He's going to take the full shape of this piece and then we'll really be able to get at the final form. I'm going to use some large chisels on the fly press to put this design on. If this was very complex or in very thick metal, we would do this hot, but using the pressure of this machine, we're able to create the designs that we want while working cold. Imagine having one extra day every week. More time to forge new builds. Spend quality time with an old friend. Or just binge watch some good TV. What would you do with your extra day? Now, all of this is possible with ClickUp, the productivity platform that will save you one full day out of your week, guaranteed. ClickUp is the one tool to house all of your tasks, projects, documents, goals, spreadsheets, and more. ClickUp can support any team size from one to a thousand plus. It's packed with features and customization that no other productivity tool has, so you can work the way you work best. Use code BKS to get up to 15% off of ClickUp's massive unlimited plan for up to one year. This means you can start reclaiming your time for less than $5 a month. Kevin now brings the blade up to temperature before the quench. That's how we harden it. We'll also be tempering it off screen where we take it to 400 degrees and that prevents the piece from breaking. Bill now goes to the knife wheel to cut in these serrations. On the really big knife, I mean, they're absolutely huge, but 
these small ones look like they could really do some damage as well. He moves over to the large wheel on the Vader grinder to start finishing these edges out. the guard sections and the pommel, basically to have the same look as the large knife does. I'm using the welder to put them together before we put the handle in place. oxypropane torch to put a burned finish on this purple heart wood, the same wood that we used on the large knife. Once he's got a good look on them, we'll be gluing them in place. place and all that texture that's on the guard and on the blade. really like the way this is turning out and even though it's not as rough as the big blade is, I think it really has much of the same look. I'm very pleased. Gary adds some crushed charcoal and some dirty oil to this rag. It really is to get that same kind of finish. And since we remembered that we had a smoldering fire on the last one, we wanted to make sure that we had something on this new knife that would give us the same look. Thanks for watching. Click the logo to subscribe or click here to see more on the Almi channel. If you're interested in the artist, click here to see more information.